In my previous video, I showed you how to Photoshop your dog. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to Photoshop your cat. So if you have a photo of your cat and you wanna take some Photoshop actions with it, check out this video. I'm gonna show you how to create this artwork or kind of photo realistic photo manipulation from your cat photo. If you want to use the same photo, the photos in the description of the video, download it and follow along, or you can use your own cat photo if you want. So the steps are pretty easy. Just follow my steps and you will create the same artwork from your photo. So let's get into this video and start creating. All right, into Photoshop here. First of all, I'm going to crop this image with a crop tool. So I have a portrait of this image and not a widescreen photo, just like that. Now press enter and we have a cropped photo. Now let's duplicate the background layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J and then go to filter, blur, gallery and select iris blur. And here we can blur out some outer parts. So first of all, make sure this circles at the center of its face and then take these corners and stretch them out. So we don't blur the face, we only blur the outer parts. And when we go here at the top, we can set the amount of blur. So now we can move this around to find the best spot, maybe even bigger and slightly less blur. So this was the original photo. And if I increase this, I can get more blur. That way we can get some nice focus on its face, just like that. Now press OK. And we have a bit more blur on the outer parts. All right, the next step is to add a exposure layer here. And I'm going to drop the exposure slightly here just like that to make this dark first. Let's close this and then click on the mask and go to your brushes and select a black soft round brush. And keep the flow at 100 and the opacity also. And now let's make the brush a bit smaller and just click on the center. You can click a couple of times until you get this effect. So you can see here we get all the focus on its face now. You can also click a little bit around it just to make sure it's light. So before we had this, now we have this, you can see here we have this nice lighting now. The next step that I would like to do is I would like to make the shadows better. So let's create a new layer, then go to edit and select fill. And here you want to select 50% gray, press OK and change the blend mode to overlay. And now we can take the burn tool to brush some areas darker. So first of all, let's make sure the exposure is right. So let's go for, let's say somewhere around 20 and select highlights and make the brush a bit smaller. And you can see the right part here is slightly lighter than this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to brush the left part. And what I'm doing here is I'm just looking at the shadows and I'm brushing those. Let's increase the exposure a bit more here because we can barely see it. And let's brush again. So these parts, let's also do the background darker there. Just making sure the body stays light, but the background is going to get darker and the shadows are getting darker. So I'm going to brush a couple of times, just like that. Let's also do here. And now you can see we get nice shadows on this face, just like that. And now I'm going to drop the exposure here pretty low and I'm going to switch to midtones. And I'm going to brush again with a bit bigger brush, just like that. And now we can go around these areas again, also the background. And the background is going to get pretty dark. It's probably going to get almost kind of black. And let's also do this part here. And for the last thing, shadows and drop the exposure even lower. Let's say around 5%. And let's brush a bit more. Also here. Just make sure it's all on the left side of its face and make the brush bigger here at the bottom because we have a big dark area there and don't forget the background. Now let's see before we add this, now we have this. You can see we get some nice shadows here. And if it's too much, just drop the opacity slightly lower to say minus or to op opacity 90 or even lower if you brush too much. All right, for the next step, I would like to add a butterfly here. So let's add our butterfly. This is a PNG file, so we don't have to remove the background. And you can see here it has some watermarks, but that's all fine because we're going to blur it out anyway, so you won't see anything of that. So let's first make sure we place it in the right spot. So probably somewhere here, so you can still see the eyes here. So it doesn't affect the eyes, so not like that, but like that. 
and also let's make sure the colors are right. So let's first add a hue and saturation to this butterfly. Make sure to click this, so we only affect the butterfly. And let's first drop the saturation really low. And you can see these colors are starting to match the cat. So the color tones are right now, maybe even more like that. And then when I click on the butterfly, I will go to filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. And here we can set a blur amount. And you can already see this looks a lot more real. You can't see the watermark anymore. And also we have some depth of field here in the photo. And this will make it look further realistic. So you need to find a nice range that looks real. You can look at the background, how much blur does it have. This is in the foreground. So pretty much we could use the same data that we find there. So probably something like this. Let's see, maybe a bit more. You can zoom in and out to kind of see how it looks from a distance. I think this looks real, pretty real, maybe even a bit more. You still need to see that it's a butterfly. I think this is fine. I'm going to press OK. Now you can see this little feed of this butterfly. It's kind of a bit annoying. So I'm going to add a mask to this and just take a black brush and get rid of it. So it doesn't go over the eye. I don't want to ruin the eye there. Maybe we can also move this one. Let's leave that one. Just a little feet here. And this already is enough. I would also like to add a curves to the butterfly to give it a bit more contrast. So I'm going to take the midtones here and slightly move them a bit down like that. And if you take the highlights, we can move them a bit to the left to get a bit more highlights in this butterfly. Let's make, make it like that. I think this is fine. And now we can also move the butterfly around to find a better spot if you think you didn't find the best spot, but I think somewhere like there is fine. Let's just make the butterfly slightly less saturated. So I'm gonna click on the hue and saturation again, and I'm gonna drop the saturation even more just to match the fur of the butterf of the cat with the color of the butterfly, just a bit more like that. I think this blends better together. Now let's make a new layer on top of everything and press Control Alt Shift E or Command Option Shift E on Mac and then press right mouse and convert to smart object. And then we wanna go to filter, camera raw filter. And here we can do final adjustments to this image. So let's first slightly drop the exposure here to get a bit more darker setting. And I'm gonna increase the contrast here. The highlights, I'm also gonna drop a bit so we don't lose the white areas. And let's increase the shadows here. And the whites, I'm also gonna make slightly lighter here. And let's increase the blacks. Let's move down now. I'm gonna add some clarity to this. So we have a bit more details. Now the other ones I'm gonna leave. And let's move down to highlights. Let's see if we can make the highlights slightly better here, just a bit more. And also increase the lights. Let's play with the darks here. Let's just bring them slightly down, but I'm gonna increase the shadow so it doesn't get too dark. And I think this is enough. Let's press OK. And we get a bit better contrast in this image. Now let's create a new layer on top of this, then go to Edit and select Fill. And keep it at 50% gray. Change the blend mode to Overlay. And now let's select the dust tool so we can lighten up the eyes of the cat. Because we want to make sure this cat is looking at this butterfly with really glowing eyes. Let's make sure the exposure here is somewhere around 40 to 50 at midtones for the range and just brush in the eyes and you can see how cool we can make the eyes with this. Now don't go too much with this because it's gonna get too light which makes the photo look unreal. So I want to make sure it looks real. This might be already too much but what I'm gonna do after this is I'm just gonna take this layer and drop the opacity here just a bit lower. And you can see we created this really glowing eyes now. Now for the last step, I would like to make the colors slightly better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a color balance here. And because we made this image darker, we need to have a bit more blue tones to this. So let's add some blue to this, just like that. And you can also try to add cyan, just a little touch of it. And maybe also a little touch of magenta, just like that. And you can see here we get less of this greenish colors, we get more kind of blue tones. This will make it look better, especially when you have a darker photo. 
So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out my other videos if you want to learn more about Photoshop or digital art. And until then, catch you on the next video.